After surviving a pretty hectic start, we have finally reached a sense of quiet within our little subway station. And today, I want to make that silence last. Anyways, everyone, welcome back to Project Zomboid. We slept for our second day, waking up at 5.20 a.m., and we have currently killed 44 zombies, surviving for an indefinite amount of time, as I need to pick up a digital watch. And yeah, today's gonna be the day I fortify our small little station to be as secure as possible. I don't know how much it's gonna take, but we do have a few pieces of furniture around the area to make it a little bit easier. Before I do that though, we do have a few needs to address. For one, I'm hungry, and two, I'm depressed. And bored now. Thankfully, with the help of ice cream, we can solve two of those problems. And with the third one, we might be able to just kill some zombies. Okay, never mind, the ice cream only helps with one problem. I am still depressed, so I'm gonna go grab a book, and then we can throw these corpses out of my base, and, you know, start to clean up a little bit. Enough talk, though. Let's dump these corpses out. Oh, hello there. Oh my. Oh, oh my. Okay. Wow, that's not good. <laughs> okay, what the hell? Where did you two come from? Anyways, I'm gonna have to juggle you two and kill you both. Whew. Nice. Is there any other zombies outside that I should be dealing with? Where the hell did they even come from? I mean, they would have had to come up from the north and literally run down towards my location. That or my barricade didn't hold. I don't see any more around the area, so I'm gonna go take a little peek down. Both ways, which looks to be clear. Well, I guess that affirms my belief that we need to secure this station once and for all. So let's go dump out the rest of the corpses, loot them, and then start to look around for furniture that I can use. I'm already eyeing up these shelves here, especially because you don't need any tools to pick them up, and the barrels. And hopefully with all of those, we can get a pretty decent barricade. Anyways, you five, you gotta go. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Now these corpses will be both out of my sight and out of my mind. And if you're wondering why I decided to use this upper level as a place to, you know, dispose of the undead, it's because, if I recall correctly, the only way corpse sickness actually travels throughout indoor buildings is it goes by level, right? And I really didn't want to drop off all of the corpses inside, like, my, my bathroom area, right? because that might pose the risk of me getting sick while being in the general area. So putting it up on the third story where there's like literally nothing is the best call. I didn't loot the corpses, so let's do that very quick as well. Netting myself some earrings that I can't use, clothing, keys, a black digital watch which I can actually use that will allow me to tell the time and how long I survived. And finally, we have paper clips and a holster with some 9mm rounds. Oh, that's actually huge. The ammo is self-explanatory, but the holster allows me to equip a weapon if I should find one. I think that's gonna be it, other than the razor. So yeah, we'll leave the corpses up here, we'll check it very briefly, and if any corpses resurrect, I can give them the, you know, one-two. Okay then, up next, I think I'm gonna go check out the northern tunnel, clear it out, and then loot all of the stuff inside this small little storage area, bringing it back to my base. And then, and finally then, we can work on, you know, securing the area. Let me ask the question now, are there any more zombies down here? It looks to be a negative, alright. We're still gonna play it safe though because an overconfident survivor is a dead one. So yeah, let's see what we got around here finally after so long. We got ourselves some propane torches, metal sheets, and bars. I'm gonna drop all of this on the floor so I can use that for a barricade later. We got even more sheets and propane torches. I have a feeling that we won't need to worry about fuel for a very long time. We got seeds, padlocks, three barrels, which will be perfect for barricading. One free battery on this zombie. And inside this massive storage room, we have so much barricading material. There's also some nails, duct tape, planks, and wood glue. The plank is actually the coolest thing so far out of this, because I realize lumber is gonna be pretty damn hard to come by. I'm not sure if y'all noticed, but looking around the area, the one thing we don't have is wood. 
and wood is a very, very crucial component in a lot of crafting recipes, so we really need to keep our eyes peeled and we really gotta ration out whatever lumber we find. So that's pretty hype. What's even better is a cordless drill, some more saws and safety goggles, a chisel, which I can use for woodworking, more files, two paint buckets, which on the surface doesn't sound that cool up until you realize you can pour the paint on the ground and use them for makeshift water containers, safety goggles, even more propane torches and scrap metal, metal cutters, metal sheets, scrap metal, and a trolley, which is going to make my life 10 times better, because if you put two and two together, vehicles are going to be one of the only things I can't find down here. So these trolleys and handcarts are going to be my best friend for transporting loot. And already we have the perfect avenue for it. So now instead of dropping it on the floor, I can just shove it inside this big old trolley. So let's finish off the looting. Also, I hear footsteps. That's a little terrifying. Hello? I'm gonna go check this very briefly, y'all. Okay, I might be going insane. I have no idea where the hell those are coming from, but it's not in here. Well, I'll just keep my eyes peeled just in case. We can continue looting, though. Grabbing even more supplies, weapons, including a screwdriver, which is actually really nice because I don't have one of those yet. I think it's that and a hammer that I really, really need. And finally, for this final bit here, we have more propane torches. Overall, though, the looting call is not bad at all, especially when you throw in all the stuff we found before. Actually, we have so much junk right now, I'm not even able to collect everything, so I'm gonna have to pick up stuff manually, and we will save the other room for later. For now, let's get this back to our base. It definitely took me a lot more time than I would have anticipated, but we have cleared out our entire trolley, giving myself a half-organized little area here, right? We have generic weapons, tools, and equipment, we have a whole bunch of materials, and now with this shelf we're gonna be leaving all of our metalworking supplies, like the metal sheets, the metal pipes, and the whole nine yards. I am pretty bored and pretty sad right now, so I'm gonna read a book and we will loot the final room. I'm actually getting tired as well. Damn, that is one thing that I am gonna have to work with, is because we're spending all of our time indoors, our character is gonna get bored very, very quickly. So how about we go read a couple of magazines as well? Speaking about magazines, I'm actually gonna use those to make armor, as it's way more better being safe rather than sorry. That should give me a little bit more armor to work with, to where I'm not defenseless. Oh yeah, look at that protection. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, cool. We'll read the book, fill up our paint cans, and probably go to sleep. Because another cool thing about not having an actual schedule is the fact that I can sleep whenever and it doesn't really affect me. Because at the end of the day, things are going to be dark or not dark. So yeah, I will see all of y'all till then. And by later, I mean tomorrow, so it should be instant for you two. After a full night's worth of reading, we have finally reached day three, everyone. Welcome on over. I have dealt with all of my Moodles, except for the Nervous Wreck one, because, you know, I'm kind of a smoker and I haven't had an actual fixing for a while. I really am just reliant on killing a zombie who happens to be a smoker as well. Oh, also, speaking about that, there was a lighter and matches within this small little desk here that I will be able to yoink. Anyways, it's time for me to head right back on out and loot the final room. I'm also really hoping that no zombies have moved their way into my home because that is the last thing I would really want to worry about right now. Maybe we'll be lucky though. And so far, it looks to be that way. Okay, cool. I love it when there's no actual complications. Because it makes even more room for the things that truly matter. More loot, in which we have a singular leaf rake, some more metal sheets, hinges, barbed wires, an actual ball peen hammer, thus completing my entire trifecta of tools. Oh, that is so damn exciting. Another nail gun mag, some more magazines to pass the time with, pants, which I can rip into clothing for crafting use later. 
even more metalworking supplies, a hand file, which is something I don't have yet, hard hats, springs, more seeds, duct tape, and finally, one more box of nails and a plank. I will say the planks are going to be really bad to come across, but in terms of metalworking supplies, we are going to be set for quite the while, including furniture items because those boxes I'll be able to pick up, the shelves I'll be able to pick up, and I will be able to craft up a very, very nice whatchamacallit, barricade. Yeah, which is what we're going to work on next after I drop off this final loot haul. Hell yeah, it's really nice seeing a shelf get filled to the brim with loot, and it also didn't take as long as last time. So now that we have dropped it off, I am gonna do one thing before I head out, right? And it involves the shovel. I was just looking around a little bit with recipes, and a very easy recipe that I can pull off right now with the shovel is actually filing down the metal bits on it, making an improvised metal spear from a shovel. And when I think about it like that, having a spear is a lot better than a shovel, especially with these types of zombies, right? I want as much reach as possible, so being able to craft up something that I can poke with a distance is gonna be nice. All right, we got our spear, we got our backup weapon, let's go head down and start to pick up the metal shelves to use for barricading. And right now, the place that I want to barricade the most is gonna be the one right down there. Because those trash cans are not it. As nice as they are, I don't really trust a small layer of plastic to defend me if a event happens like a gunshot and zombies are, you know, led down the only way they can go, which is one of two tunnels. So yeah, we're gonna do a quick little bot montage and make this a fortification to be proud of. Bop, 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 bop. Okay, wow, that's extremely bad. I was in the middle of barricading this place and there is a zombie that has seen me, so we're gonna have to kill them very quick. Yeah, that's exactly why I really want to barricade these things very, very well. Okay, how much more do you got on that? Not much. After she's done breaking it down, we can skewer her. Boom. Nice try, bozo. Rest in piss, you will not be missed. Is there anyone else coming up before I set this last little thing up? No? Good. Okay, let's finish it off quickly then. Making it stronger than before. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Boom. Okay, that looks a hell of a lot better. It's not the best, I would say, but that gives me three full layers of barricades for me to prepare should a horde come down towards my location. And hopefully the way it plays out is if a zombie does come around, they won't hit the barricade because there will be so much in the way, right? That's gonna be good enough for now. We've gotten a whole bunch of furniture there. Now we can worry about the northern area after I go grab a quick little bite to eat. You really gotta love that emergency ration ice cream. Bada boom, we're a little less sad, which should hopefully give me even more energy to lug stuff back and forth. And I can also describe my whole plan with the next barricade, because there is a way that I want to, I guess, layer it out which goes as follows. I want to use that door right over there as my main entrance and exit out of the tunnel network, right? So what I want to do is set up my barricade right before things get extremely bad. So I would say like right here at this corner. Oh my, they've gotten a lot closer. So that way, whenever I want to move in and out of my base, I can go through multiple layers of doors instead of having this massive little bit exposed here. Uh, so you guys come here often, or is it just because I've decided to barricade today? Yeah, no, we're gonna have to kill them all before I do anything else. Hopefully that will be the most of them, though. Let's see what you got. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. That's what they got on me. Also, I'm looking down right now, and it looks to be clear for the foreseeable future. Oh man, what a crazy spawn though, with the spiffo suit. I mean, I guess I'll take it. I definitely won't wear it because of the protection, but with it being so rare, it's almost like a waste if I just let it rot away with the zombie, right? Uh, yeah, sorry, I got a little bit distracted. Okay, I am gonna loot them very briefly, and as soon as we're done with that, I can begin. And I think I'm gonna drop the barricade right here with the light. That way, if there's any zombies on the barricade, I will see them immediately with the illumination. Okay, let's start off with shelves and work from there. Ba-ba- 
Oh my god, where the hell did you come from? Oh, what the dog? I hate that. What the dog? I'm in the middle of a damn montage right now. Where's the. What? What? What in the hell? I am genuinely shook on where the hell that thing came from. Okay, I will not be able to rest at all while doing this series. I am going to bop at a very, 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 um, cautious pace now. Oh, man, my heart. My little freaking heart. Anyways, bop, bop, bop. <laughs> I hate this. I actually hate this. <laughs> Boom. That looks like a barricade to last at least one minute to a zombie horde. I feel pretty confident with it, especially with how it looks tonally. I mean, look at the damn thing. It's really freaking cool when you think about it, right? Just this massive pile of furniture up against a tunnel that might get filled with zombies. Now you might be wondering how I made the shelves look full because they looked pretty empty and they technically are. And that's quite simple. I grabbed the clothing off of all of the zombies to put into the shelving just to make it look a little bit more colorful and pleasing to the eye. It does nothing for it, but man, does it look aesthetic. And speaking about aesthetics, there is one last thing that I would actually like to add to this small little barricade, and it's these floodlights right here. The lights on this little wall are illuminating enough, and I think by putting this big ol' floodlight right near the entrance, it's gonna make it look ten times cooler. And after I put it down, no zombie is gonna be able to sneak past this spot. That's about everything I wanted to do today, though, so I think we're done. I mean, we've killed a handful of zombies, we found some very nice weapons and materials, and we have so much metalworking supplies. The only thing I will add on is the fact that I added in some shelving in between this small little hallway here, so if zombies ever do burst out of the door, they might get snagged on these shelves before they get to me. We have about six of them left, so I might use them for future barriers or I could just, you know, use them for metalworking experience. And if we head back, I think our other little barricade should have lasted, right? Yep, nope, there's no zombies there. It's definitely the weak point though, so I might add on those shelves in the future. For now, I'm done here. We did have a few close calls, but we ended up surviving anyways, and I think next episode is gonna be the day we craft up some actual weapons and supplies to, you know, fuel me on my journey throughout the tunnels. I do want to head up north that way because, you know, if we do lead zombies back, it's not gonna be the worst, especially with how much stronger the barricade is, and maybe we might find something cool. For now, I'm extremely tired, extremely hungry, bored, and depressed, so let's go help ourselves to one of the last ice creams. Matter of fact, I think it's the second to last one. Yeah, okay, no, there's two left. Not bad, but it's definitely getting down to the wire. At least for, you know, perishable goods. Anyways, I'm ending the episode here. If you guys have liked this episode, be sure to like, favorite, share, and subscribe for more. I also completely forgot I have a television in here that I could have been using to watch television. Yeah, 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 give me that experience. Actually, there's nothing here. Okay, that's fine. We'll have TV for quite the while longer. I will see y'all later. Peace the hell out, everyone.